This is Abby Alderetti, and today I'd like to share with you a few techniques on how to battle insomnia. There are quite a few things we can provide for the physical body that can relieve your mental stress. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. This video is brought to you today by Corala. They are the creators of this beautiful 20 pound weighted blanket we have placed on Chandler already and incorporated the duvet cover as well. It's a beautiful blanket. It's 100% cotton and made with real glass beads. So some of these weighted blankets are made with plastic beads, but the glass beads keeps it non-toxic and safe for our environment. To experience the weight evenly distributed throughout your entire body is really relaxing for the nervous system. It can simulate an experience of being within the womb or cocoon-like, which is so nourishing. It can really help you turn off random thoughts or looping and help your body experience a relaxing massage or a deep sleep. So one of the things I'd like to bring up to help enrich in your sleep is about the cervical spine. If there's a lot of compression or tension, you can have a hard time navigating pillows or comfort in the cervical spine, especially after a long day of work. So one of the techniques I like to do is if you roll a towel and place it right underneath your neck on the edge of your bed, you can allow the weight of gravity off the edge of the bed kind of pull your neck back and relieve the compression in this cervical spine. It can be an extreme experience depending on the state of your neck and how much its alignment and comfort has been compromised. So pace yourself. It's still a wonderful practice to incorporate if you experience that challenge. Another thing I like to do for the cervical spine before sleep it's just working with rotation and to make sure it's as organized as possible. There's nothing more disruptive than neck pain in the middle of the night. So in order to do that, you can lay facing up and use your eyes as a guide. So if you want to roll your eyes all the way to the right, and let your neck follow. And then switch it to the other side. Roll your eyes to the left and allow your neck to rotate around the spine to the other side. It may feel a little odd at first, but it's extremely nourishing and relaxing to allow your movements to be activated by the, from the eyes. It enhances alignment and balance from both right to left, and it can help you more efficiently move and rotate your neck in a day-to-day -day work and process. Also, Play with your pillows. See which one works best for you. Sometimes having that angle of the neck can be more disruptive to your sleep. Sometimes it's helpful. It relieves the stress of having to carry your neck every day. If you were like me, I sleep best without a pillow underneath my head. But I like to provide pillows on the right and the left side just to 
give me support if I want to tilt my head from right to left. If you have a table, like this massage table, or a smaller pillow to put underneath your forehead, laying face down in a prone position can be really relaxing and really help deepen a calming effect on the body. Breathing into the stomach, trying to escape the upper chambers of the lungs and the shoulders. You can regulate your nervous system, pulling you out of a sympathetic and into a place of safety, balance, and hopefully deep, relaxing sleep. If anyone is wondering, <laughs> the magic number is five. So practice five breaths, see how you feel, roll around on the bed, go brush your teeth. And if you feel like you liked it, come back and go ahead and do five more. Breath is extremely nourishing for our nervous system, but it also can help push toxins out of the blood and move the energy through the body so it's evenly distributed, somewhat like our beautiful blanket. I also love to provide a little bit of pressure on the hands for sleep. And you can do this for yourself. No specific way. But receiving a hand massage can really help turn that brain off as well. each finger. And we'll do the other side. And just doing a little more pressure on this side as well. On the palm of the hand to no particular formation. Rhythm is always nice. Rhythm can help relax the nervous system as well. And then on each finger. the stress of your day. Okay. I'm gonna bring that back into the spine. So another exercise you can practice to help relax yourself for sleep is creating some traction on the spine in general. It's much easier for Chandler because I am creating this traction for her. But if you have a foam roller, 
You can slowly roll the foam roller up your back. You can provide the same relief of that gravitational pull and help calm you down and bring you back to center. And if you wanted to do the towel trick once again, that would simulate the traction I'm putting on the cervical spine here as well. Deep breaths signal to your nervous system that you are safe and you are allowed to relax and rest. There are no dangers. So incorporating that into your nightly ritual or at least right before you go to bed or nap can really change the quality of your sleep. don't have a foam roller, you can just stretch in a forward bend and allow gravity to pull on the top of your head a little bit. of the cervical spine, but really getting a right to left movement around the spine is very relaxing. So it's easier for me to do this jostling for Chandler, but if you need the same experience, you can always just roll back and forth on the ground which stimulates the vestibular system, helping you find your center of gravity, orient to your environment, and feel safe enough to relax. And massage sometimes with clients who are more traumatized or dealing with a traumatic injury, jostling, may upset them. So always tap in with your patient and make sure they're comfortable. But rhythm is also very nice. Just trying to touch the entirety of her back. Once again, create safety and trust.
So I want to finish off today and address the scalp a little bit. So many nerve endings in the scalp. So working with this area is a wonderful way to tap into a deeper sleep. First, I'm just gonna brush or scratch in the opposite direction of her hair follicles. You can simulate this with a brush at home, actually. It's really relaxing. Once again, we're relieving the stress of the gravitational pull and the compression that comes with it. Brushing your hair before bed in any direction can really help. But when you're receiving, it's especially helpful to get it from this direction. From here, I'm gonna provide a little bit of compression side. Pressure. The same on both sides. That way Chandler doesn't have the chance to focus on one point of contact. She can focus on a few, which helps her brain stay more neutral. Thank you for joining me today and watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, you can find the link to the Corolla Weighted Blanket in the description below. It has a 30-night trial with a full refund if you don't like it. I hope you guys have a great day and a very restful night's sleep. Thanks for tuning in.